Hi, I'm Charlie Chapman, a developer advocate here at Revnicat. And today we released a big update to our targeting feature. This is the feature for targeting specific paywalls to specific users using a big set of rules that you can configure in our backend. And today's update includes two major new rules, custom attributes and in product placement. I already made a video about how to implement custom attributes into your app. And so this video is going to sort of carry on from that one and show you how you can implement in product placements in your app. So we're going to jump right into Xcode and look at how that works. You don't have to watch the custom attribute video beforehand, but if you did, uh, this will sort of be a continuation of that one. All right, let's jump right into it. Okay, so now we're in Xcode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run our little demo project here. So this is a video streaming app for uh, movies related to your favorite pets. That's the idea here. We call it Paw Plus. So you can see whenever it first opens, the first thing we see is an onboarding flow. And so if we go through here, it'll ask a couple questions. What's your favorite animal? How often do you watch movies? This is where we were using custom attributes in the previous video to show a paywall based on these questions. So if you're interested in that, definitely watch that video. So when we get to the end of onboarding, you'll see our paywall pops up. Uh, it's got a picture of some, you know, cute little kittens, uh, all these different colors. Again, this is driven by custom attributes right now, but not really important to this point of this video. Um, so that's the paywall that we get at the end of onboarding. But if I dismiss these and dismiss onboarding and I get to, you know, our landing page, presumably this is like a free tier or something like that. Um, if users want to upgrade, they can go into settings and there's an upgrade button and that should pop up our paywall as well. Now, this paywall right now is exactly the same as the other one, but the idea here is maybe we wanna show a different paywall design for users who said no during onboarding, but came to this page later. That user has gone on a different journey, so maybe we wanna like treat that different, either a different design or maybe even different offers entirely, like different products entirely. Um, so that's where in product placements is going to come in handy. That's exactly what it's for. So let's look at the code real quick. So this is the Swift UI view for onboarding. Um, it's a pretty straightforward view. There's this function that gets called when you click that next button called display paywall. And what it does is it, um, it uses the revenue cat SDK to ask for the current offering. And then it sets that offering on a variable and that variable, um, drives whether that paywall sheet opens. And then we just render a paywall view using revenue cat paywalls um, that then renders based on that offering. If you're not using revenue cat paywalls, you're probably also still grabbing the current offering to drive uh, what offerings you show inside of your paywall. And that's important because that's how our experiments work. That's how a lot of revenue cat stuff works is grabbing the current offering. But importantly, that's also how targeting works. So whenever I ask for the current offering, it's going to run through those targeting rules to determine which offering I should get based on who I am as a user. Um, so this is the way that we're getting the offering right now. And, uh, the Revenue Cat SDK and the Revenue Cat backend, it has no idea where in the app I am. So that's what we need to change. We need to tell the Revenue Cat SDK, right now I'm coming from onboarding. And then whenever we go over to settings, we want to say, now I'm coming from settings. And so there's actually a new current method here that you can use to set that. So instead of just saying current, I can say current offering for placement. And this will take in a string. So here I'm just going to say onboarding. And now the Revenue Cat SDK in the back end knows that I'm coming from onboarding. And then if we go over to my settings view, um, you can see I was doing exactly the same thing here. So here, whoops, I'm going to use the same method. And instead of onboarding, I'm going to say settings. And that's all we have to do in the code. So now in our code, we are specifying each time we ask for current offerings, where we're actually coming from, what our placement is. So next thing we need to do is go into the Revenue Cat dashboard and set up some new rules. Let's do that. So let's go into my PA Plus project here and go to targeting. And you can see we have my dog fans rule and cat fans rule. Again, this is what we set up in our custom offering video, but both of these are basically the same thing. I'll just show you real quick. So these are using custom attributes and they're saying um, if the user has a custom attribute of favorite animal set to dog, then we're going to show this special dog offering. And on the cats one, 
uh, it shows a special cat offering if their custom attribute favorite animal is set to cat. Um, so that drives what the paywall looks like based on the questions that they answered. But what we want to do is also say it should be a different paywall based on where they're at in the app. And so that's where placements come in. So you can see there's this add placement button. And if I click that, um, it creates a, a option here for me to set a placement. So um, I'm going to say onboarding. And so if I'm in on more, <clears throat> excuse me, if I'm in onboarding, I want it to show this dog offering just like we were showing before. And then I'm going to add another placement and say, if I'm in settings, I want it to show this dog settings offering. And I'll show you what that is here in a second. Um, and then if I'm not in either one of these, so if I just ask for current, um, if I didn't ask for for it based on a specific placement, then I can set a default. So maybe I'll just literally use our default offering that's not specific at all uh, in this example. And I'll go ahead and save that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for our cat fans here. So cat fans, this one, and you can see these auto populate now that I've already created them. So if it's an onboarding, I'm gonna use our regular cat offering. And if it's in settings, I'm going to use the cat settings offering. And then by default, this one will also just drop down to the default offering. And before we jump back to the app, I'll just show you really quick what these paywalls look like. So this cat settings offering is a cute kitten with a bunch of gears. And the dog settings offering is a cute puppy with a bunch of gears. Hopefully that makes it clear which one we're on right now. All right, so we made that change. Um, now we can jump back into our app. We don't need to make any changes to the code. Uh, actually, I don't think I actually ran it earlier. So we're going to run this real quick um, with our new code that specifies which placement um, we're in at each point in time. And so now if we go through onboarding and I select cat, we should see this looks just like before. Um, we got all of our kittens. This is not the one with the gears. But if we dismiss this and we go into settings and we hit upgrade to pro, now we can see we have a different design because we came from settings. But it's still based on that cat attribute, which is kind of cool. So the reason I showed that is because I think uh, custom attributes and in-product placements, they combine to be even more powerful than they are on their own. But you can use them entirely separately. You don't have to mess with custom attributes if you just want to uh, set up a rule based on your product placement. So that's in-product placement. It really is that basic. Um, it's one of those really simple concepts that I think unlocks a lot of really powerful use cases. Um, so we're really excited to see what you all do with this. Definitely let us know if you do something interesting or you run into any issues. We also obviously want to hear about that too. Um, so there you have it. If you want to learn more about how all this, all this works or anything else about RevenueCat, you can go to RevenueCat.com.